Hi guys, just want to do a quick video, one of the exercises, step ups, have featured a wee bit already. Uh, so still the main thing that folk are struggling with the step up is the tempo. Okay, so I think if you've, if you've done step up classes, uh, uh, maybe, or been members of gym before, there'll be that tendency to race through it because of the high tempo concept. But remember, when it comes to stuff like this, speed hides a need. What that means is you do things fast to hide the fact that you can't balance or can't control the movement. Um, and ultimately, by slowing things down, you're forcing the muscles to control the movement more. So for example, at the top of my step up, pause forces the glute muscles to stabilize the pelvis, amongst other things. So when you've come up, I want you to really think, uh, with this exercise, you're going to be using the ball. You're going to come up and hold it above your head, pause, and then when you come back down, don't just drop down, okay? For a start, it'll put a bit of pressure through your, your Achilles, but also there's no, there's no work being done by this leg if you just come down, because obviously you're going to come down because of gravity, so you need to slow it down in order to force the muscle to work. So, when you're here, come down slowly into a lunge, okay, and then go back up. So, you can come down, uh, you can sorry, you can go up quite fast if you want, so you can drive up, uh, but don't, don't come down fast, okay. Uh, another thing to remember, someone asked me earlier when they were getting knee pain lunging. So, one of the main common reasons why people get knee pain lunging, or do reverse lunges, or is they lead the knee. So for example, they do this. So their hips don't go back, they keep their hips stuck where they are. And that's wrong, okay? So your hips need to go back the way. If your hips go back the way, it, it, makes, it makes room for the movement and it means that the weight goes through the posterior more and it keeps the weight off the knee and it, it takes away the strain from the quad a bit too. So the same idea applies to a step up. So don't lead the knee in a step up, so don't do this. Don't lean forward through the knee and then push up because you'll probably get knee pain. So keep your chest up, push your hips back a wee bit so the hips go back, then you can push down through the heel as you go up. Okay, so just, just sort of bear that in mind, same the way down. So the way down, don't do that. You shouldn't be bending your knee on the way down. You should be pushing the hips back to initiate the downward movement. Okay, like so, making sure that the weight stays through the heel and not the toe. Okay, so that's what to look for. You don't need to do this with the ball, remember? You can just do it without the ball, or you can even just hold the ball at your chest. You don't need to bring it above your head um, if you feel it creates a lot of imbalance. But on the way down, come down slow, get the hips back. Okay, cheers. <laughs> right,